Good morning, everyone. It's our pleasure to speak today with uh, the acting mayor of Boston, the Honorable Kim Janey, who last week announced she'll be running for re-election in her own right this fall. Mayor, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you so much, John. It's great to be here. So let's start with the issue that's obviously consuming everybody right now, which is the pandemic and the, and the issues raised by it. At some point in the not-too-distant future, everyone who wants one will have had the opportunity to get vaccinated, hopefully sooner rather than later. We're already seeing some local uh, institutions, uh, universities, for instance, saying to the students, if you want to come back on campus this fall, you're going to have to prove you were vaccinated. Do you believe businesses in the city should at some point have the right to deny access to customers who can't or won't show proof of vaccination? You know, I think that is a slippery slope. We obviously, as mayor, I want everyone in our city to get the protection they need through the vaccine. Uh, we understand, though, there have been a few bumps in the road uh, in terms of supply and, and getting the information out uh, to people so that they can make informed decisions. Uh, certainly lifting up uh, ways to, to help communities that have been disproportionately impacted by COVID in terms of the number of cases or deaths uh, get vaccinated. And so this is uh, truly an equity issue. Um, and we have to make sure uh, first and foremost that the vaccine is available, that there's equitable access to it and confidence in the vaccine. Uh, so I, as mayor, launched uh, the HOPE campaign earlier to help with that effort, uh, making sure uh, that folks have that information uh, in their own languages. Uh, we do have a, a hotline uh, at the city. Uh, we are lifting up all kinds of ways that people can get vaccinated from the mass vaccination uh, right. sites to priority clinics to uh, the mobile vaccination clinics, which I'm a big fan of, meeting people where they are. Um, well, you know, we see that people are, you know, even airports have kind of said this or airlines. But until everyone is vaccinated, until we get to herd immunity, it is uh, we have to be careful about denying uh, access to certain things. That being said, we do need to make sure people are getting vaccinated because right. that's the way we're going to be safe. Well, mayor, let me flip the question around. Do you see yourself uh, as the mayor in interfering with a business's decision to bar access to people who can't show they've been vaccinated. I'm going to make sure that I am having conversations uh, with the Institute of Higher Ed, the business community, uh, anyone who um, is making those kinds of determinations. Because what we don't want to have happen is to see more disparity in terms of who has access to certain things in our city uh, based on that. But I do want to stress the importance that we all get vaccinated. But still, until we stamp this out completely, we run the risk of more variants. Uh, we run the risk of prolonging, um, you know, this, this semi shutdown. So we really want to prioritize and emphasize the importance of getting the vaccine. We are so close uh, to being at the end of the tunnel. And if we can just do our part, we can get to the other side um, so that we do come out stronger than before. And we have that opportunity if we all do our part and work together.